Hello everyone, my name is Ben Schaff, and today we're going to level up our Expression Engine 2 skills. This is going to be Expression Engine 2, tutorial number 1. And uh, what we're going to do today is go, da go through the download and installation process for Expression Engine. Uh, what I will assume that you have already done is uh, purchase Expression Engine. Uh, you have a FTP client and have created a database and tied a user to that. If you have not done that stuff, go ahead and pause and come back. And if you have questions about that, go ahead and leave questions in the comments and we'll answer those. All right, so to start off, uh, what we're going to do is jump over to Expression Engine's website and download Expression Engine 2. So I am already logged in. If you're not, go ahead and put in your login credentials. If you have not, already purchased Expression Engine or this is your first time using it or you're about to use it, you can go ahead and click the Buy Now button and walk through the purchase process. So you just say Purchase New License. Um, you have three options here between the commercial, non-commercial, and freelancer. If this is your first go at Expression Engine, uh, you're, you're definitely going to want to look at the $99 option, but just note that you can only have one of these per account. Uh, there's no limitation on other accounts for you know how many other different type of license that you have. But again, um, I am already logged in and I already have my version of Expression Engine purchased, so I'm just going to go ahead and download it by going to My Downloads. And here is one, so I'm just going to go ahead and download that, scroll down. I will accept the terms and I'm going to also be sure to I'm going to be sure to select 2x as opposed to 1x. Uh, if you for some reason are stuck with having to use 1x if you have a client that is already on that, um, you, you do have the option to still download one. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and go use 2 in the latest version of 2 as of this recording. It's Expression Engine 2.4.0. So I now have it downloaded. Go ahead and go ahead and unzip that. And now that it's unzipped, let's go ahead and look at the contents of that directory. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that window back there. So inside of this window or inside of that directory, we have just a couple files, really. I mean, there's uh, the admin.php, images, index.php, system, and themes. Um, it's a system and themes directories that have lots and lots of stuff in there. So let's go ahead and start this upload because it's going to take a little while. So I'm going to go into my file transfer program. And the one that I'm using today is Transmit, but obviously there's other ones out there as well. Um, and I'm just going to upload this to my server uh, where I want my site to live. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag all of them over. And that's going to start the upload process. Once the files have completed uploading, uh, there are a couple files that we're going to have to change the, uh, the file permissions on. And so I'm going to go ahead and let these upload. I'm going to pause the video. And uh, when they're done, we'll come back and I'll show you which ones we need to change file permissions. And then we'll complete the upload pro or the installation process. Okay, the files have finally uploaded, so now let's go ahead and do the next step here. And as I was alluding to earlier, the next step is changing the file permissions uh, on a couple select items. So the first two that we're going to change are the config.php and the uh, database.php file. And those live within the system expression engine config directory and we should see database sitting here and we should see config so I'm gonna go ahead hit command I and uh, change these to uh, both of those to um, 666 read and write for everybody okay and then there's a couple other directories that should have 777 um, and one of those still lives within that system expression engine directory, and it's the cache folder. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one on 777. Read, write, execute for everyone. And then there are a couple more, and there's back up at the root inside of the images directory. Um, and these are mostly for um, um, 
for the system if you know for example there's this one here member photos if you allow members to your site to upload pictures by default I think they want to go into that directory um, and in order for the um, for expression engine to be able to do that it needs to have 777 so we're gonna go ahead and do this on these here this one two three four five six or so and they also need 777 All right, those are the recommended file permissions for Expression Engine. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go back over to my server here and hopefully refresh this page. This is, you know, the Apache page that, that you get if you don't have anything loaded up. Here we go. So right now it says your config file does not appear to be, and that's totally correct because we haven't actually set it up yet. During the installation process, Expression Engine will write to that file. So what we need to do to go ahead and install is go to admin.php. And now we're going to be walked through the Expression Engine installation wizard. Um, it does a check. We passed all of that. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and agree the license and terms and move on. And start filling out these fields. Now earlier, in the, at the very beginning of this video, I talked about um, the fact that you're going to need to have a database and, and a user for that database set up already. So hopefully you've done that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, enter in some of my information here. All right, so hopefully I got that all right. I don't know why I set those passwords so tricky. And I'm going to go ahead now and create the admin account for this. Um, once you, if you have multiple admins, that's okay. You're just sort of setting up the first user so that you can get in there and log it in. So I want my username to be admin. Password twice. It auto filled this from above. Um, like it says, screen name. The difference between a username and a screen name is the screen name what's going to appear when you actually post a title, um, post an entry. Um, if you if you choose to display that, so I'm going to put my name here, and the name of our site is going to be Level Up Expression Engine. Oops. For now, anyway, and we'll go through how to change it later. Choosing your theme by default, Expression Engine comes with one. Um, theme that's sort of a record label of sorts. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave it empty for now because uh, we're going to develop our own theme. Optional modules. Expression Engine comes with a set core of modules and then they throw in some that by default aren't turned on. Uh, we're going to leave them, leave it as is for now, but just note that uh, later what we'll probably do is come back and uh, um, later install the pages module. Um, but we'll just leave it off for now. You can set your own time zone and install. All right, so we have installed successfully. Uh, before Expression Engine lets you move on, what you need to do is delete the installer um, directory, and that's sitting inside of System, Installer. We just go ahead and Command Delete that. All right, and so now on one tab, I'm going to go ahead and open up our website, which should be totally blank. Yep, that's a success, believe it or not. And now we're going to also go into the control panel and log in. So we're logging in with those credentials that you just created. And there we go. I'll go ahead and save that. Uh, this is where we're ending today. Um, we have now successfully installed Expression Engine, and we have now landed on the control panel. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're gonna con we're gonna review the control panel in detail. Um, please subscribe to uh, our Level Up Tuts. Uh, we're covering a wide variety of sort of web technologies for front end developers and and more. 
Uh, so please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks a lot.